Alright, so <laughs> this is the first tutorial I've ever done for one, so don't give me shit about it. Two, I'm using Adobe Audition CS6, well, CC, same thing, don't really matter. But you want to record in mono, that's what I usually do. And then after that, you want to go into your track, you silence the front, blah blah blah, beginning, and all that shit but before you record you want to go to oh shit you want to go to control panel sounds you want to find the microphone that you use for instance I'm using my headphone for my uh, PlayStation but I would usually be using a microphone and this is usually at a hundred percent with a microphone and you want to turn it all the way down to one but this is a headset so it doesn't work like that if you're using a real microphone a studio microphone MXL 990 MXL 4000 anything like that you want to turn this all the way down to one and then you would play with your uh, I played with my mixer and on my mixer I have my uh, EQ I have to turn what do I have it at I got it turn two notches or, yeah, I gotta turn two notches from zero to the right and then for my levels I have that turn two notches to the right and then for my uh, volume for mic one for line in for the first line I have that two notches to the left going upwards and then I got my main volume my main mix at zero and that's how that gets for me that gets rid that oh uh, shit my bad <laughs> for me that gets rid of all the background sound in the uh in my mix or in my recording and in my mix so then you want to go to you want to make your own preset so first off you want to go to mastering you want to make your amount 16 exeter your mode tube amount 86 you want to enable low shelf peaking high shelf you want to make it 30 780 and then 12,000 and you want to save it I have my saved as pro but you can do whatever you want then go to dynamics processing for the first for the top whatever I don't know this is for the top decimal you want to right click it edit point zero zero negative six point seven okay you can click anywhere on here it doesn't really matter then you want to right click it Edit point. Oh shit, hang on. Negative eight, negative eight. Okay. Then you want to save that. Yet again, I saved it as pro, so it doesn't really matter. And then exit out of that. Studio reverb. One, 2500, 52, 13, 8, 13, 800, 880, 50, 50, 81.8, 9.1. Save it. Exit out of it channel mixer so if you record in mono it should look like this but if you record it in stereo there'd be a left and a right and yeah, it'd be almost up this it should just look like this so you can exit out of that you want to take your dry and your wet and you want to make this 40 and then you want to save this I already have my save so I'm not gonna save it but you save it don't apply it yet though and then you go to filter and EQ Graphic equalizer 30 bands, separate from lead vocal, apply. And then you go back to 30 bands, lead vocal, presence and clarity. And then you go to amplitude compression, normalize, 100. Amplitude compression, multi band compressor, kill the harshness, apply. Now you want to go to amplitude compression, dynamics processing, and then go to default. But, and just listen to what I do. Just stay at default. For your first decimal, you want it to be right click, 0, 0, negative 7.2. Your second one, you want it to be negative 8.6, negative 9.4. Okay? And then click anywhere again, make another one, blah, blah, blah. Edit point, negative 40.3, negative 36.9. Okay? 
one more time. You want to make another point, right click it, edit point, negative 71.4, negative 100. Okay. And then you want to enable spline curves. And then you press apply. After that, you want to apply your effects rack. Then you want to go to effects, amplitude compression, dynamics processing, smooth vocal. This this works really well if you have a um reflection filter. It it gives more of a natural reverb. Um then after you do that I I usually do click pop eliminator, but what I've noticed is that it makes it cuts out words. It chips it so it sounds more auto tuney. But yeah, I don't do that anymore. So I do dynamics processing instead, and I do deesser light, and I do that three times. But I got it set as a favorite, so and then yeah, I can't even hear it so far. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so then you go back to your track. You go to you want this all the way at right 100, and you want to make a copy of it. And you want to make this left 100. And then go back to the first recording. And then the preset you just made, you want to do that again. And you want to take your dry and wet, turn it down to zero. Do that for both the tracks. And then you want to go into your mixer. You want to turn your fade on. And you want to turn it all the way to 15. Then turn on your EQ for both of them. I got my own settings. For the first one, 40, you want to do negative 13 dB. The, uh, the frequency, 50, you want to make it 0.3. And then 200, you want to make 1. And then leave the rest the same. And make sure you got 96 dB. And then save that preset. Then press X. And then after that, you're done. You just have to play with your volume, blah blah blah, do all that good shit. But other than that, yeah, that's it. Well, hope I helped you guys. Sorry for my fucking first messed up tutorial. <laughs> my bad.